Good morning from Catalina State Park. This is our last day down in the desert. Uh, we've been watching the weather and there is a storm starting to roll into Durango. And so we're gonna have to cut our stay a little bit short and make way for the north again, back into the snowy cold weather in order to take care of our place and do the plowing as the snow comes. But for today, we're gonna play in the sun. Yeah, so we're taking the dogs on a really nice walk. And uh, this hillside behind us is really cool. It just has a lot of saguaros. And one thing we've noticed while we're here uh, in this area is they must get more rain here because it seems like the cactus are much healthier, not nearly as dry as they were at McDowell Mountain Park. Yeah. This is a really cool example of how the barrel cactus likes to grow toward the sun, toward the south. Pretty cool. Look who's coming! Hey, I hate to see you guys here. I know. There's a sight for sore eyes. See you at camp! <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to Clarity Off Grid. We're Matt and Christina. We live off the grid in our self-sustaining home in the mountains of Colorado. And when we aren't working on projects here at home, we're traveling in our Ram Promaster van that Matt converted into a sweet home on wheels for us and our two dogs, Jesse and Lily Bell. Join us as we share living off the grid during the cold and snowy winter months and traveling to new and exciting places. Leave us a comment, introduce yourself, or just say hi. We'd love to know what kind of information you'd like about off-grid living and traveling. If you like this video, make sure you let us know by clicking the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell to make sure you get notified when we upload new videos. Okay, we're heading out, heading home. Disappointing to be leaving the warm weather, but um, we need to be there when it snows and it looks like we've got, uh, we could even stay somewhere tonight and still get home before the snow. So we're giving ourselves plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, we had intended to spend a full week down here, but we, our agreement was that we'd keep an eye on the snow and make sure that we got home in case we, yeah. need, we were needed to plow. So, we're on our way home. See guys later. Okay, bye-bye. See you on the slopes. Have a safe trip. <laughs>
Oh, it's been a beautiful drive so far today, and we are down by the Salt River on Route 60. And um, it's just a great place to stop. We grabbed some food, we made it in the van, and now we're just uh, taking in this beautiful canyon and this beautiful river. It's quite spectacular. Quite spectacular. So now that we took some time to learn the, about the plants in the desert, it's pretty cool because we stopped here and I now know that this is a mesquite plant and this plant over here is Mormon tea. Mormon tea. Check it out, we got a foot of snow here. And so yesterday I took this time lapse. So you're seeing the time lapse now as I'm talking. And the forecast was for a bunch of clouds to be coming in in the afternoon for things to be, this storm to be coming in. So I took a time lapse thinking I'd have some great clouds and things for you to look at. And nothing materialized all day. I woke up at 1.30 in the morning, still nothing had materialized. And, uh, and then when I got up at seven and looked out, we had six inches of snow. It's now, what is it? We had breakfast and tea and it's 9.15 and there's a foot of snow here. <laughs> Crazy. I was gonna go skiing this morning, but now it looks like I'm gonna have to plow and shovel um, and then go skiing. But up at the ski area, they only have two inches of snow is what they're reporting. So who knows what's going on here. Okay, we're heading out. 